Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and today we are going to discuss a very important topic called discrete random variable. Now before we go ahead and discuss the you know mathematical functions and you know definition etc let's do a quick experiment. So suppose I give you two coins okay and I ask you how many heads uh, am I going to get okay. So now what you can do is of course the possible values are uh, the possible values are uh, if you flip the first coin and you got a tail and you flip the second coin you got a tail again right what happens if you flip it again so you flip it and you got a head and you got a tail in the second case uh, you flip it you got a tail and you got a head in the first uh, second attempt and you got head and head in both the cases right so these are the four possible things that can happen when you flip two coins all right so if i count the number of heads that i got the possible number of heads that i got so in this case it will be zero of course i did not get any head uh, here i got one head and here i got one head and here i got two heads so the possible values of heads that i can get from this experiment is either zero or 1 or 2. So, the distinct values are so the distinct values are 0, 1 and 2 right and interestingly if I have to check the probability of the things that has happened here. So, if I check the probability and we saw from our the case of independence in our previous video. So, in this first case here what I got the probability of getting a tail is half times the probability of getting the second tail is half. The probability of getting in, in our second experiment here the probability of getting a head is half probability of getting a tail is half right. The probability of ta getting a tail and head in the third case is half times half basically multiply I can get 1 by 4 and the same thing happens here the probability of getting a head times the probability of getting another head is nothing but 1 by 4. So, in all the cases what I got is 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 right. Okay. So, those are the possible values uh, that I can get. So, the distinct values that I can get for number of heads is 0, 1, 2 and the possible cases okay now what is the probability of getting zero heads is 1 by 4 as we just now saw for 1 actually saw two combination which is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 because there were two cases where we got one head and then we got two heads and the possible cases of the probability is 1 by 4 so basically this results in 1 by 4 half 1 by 4. So, in this experiment a random variable is a variable which can take this finite number of values ok and typically we represent that as by large x ok and uh, the smaller values that it can take. So, in this case the random variable the discrete random variables can take values such as 0, 1 and 2. So, when we flipped two coins so these are the number of heads uh, that I can get and the small x basically contains this individual value. So, either it can be 0 or it can be 1 or it can be 2 the set is represented by this bigger x and the individual values or the individual outcomes can be stored in this smaller value x ok. All right. So, this bigger variable x is called the discrete random variable it is called discrete because it has fixed number of values like 0, 1 and 2 ok. Now, if I give you another example of discrete random variable is uh, how many interviews did you appear before you finally got a data science job right. So, probably uh, when you did not take any interviews then of course, there were 0 interviews taken. So, you did your first interview you could not get a job the second and so on and say at the ninth interview you got your job. So, what you can see is discrete random variable can take a finite number of values in a discrete positions ok. 
so 0, 1, 2, 3. Or it might also happen that in your second or third attempt only you got the job, right, which is a very good thing. So uh, no attempts, first attempt, second attempt, third attempt. So these are all the set of values that a uh, random variable, a discrete random variable can hold, right. So what are the other examples can we see from discrete random variables is like what are the possible outcomes whether an email is a spam or not spam. So again the expected value will be spam or the random variable can take two values either it's a spam or it's a not spam. So this is how it is related to machine learning. So what we are going to see next is uh, how do we represent this mathematically 